Hello, welcome back to Blender Society Live Learning. In this episode, I'm gonna like a study this works by John Edmark. I've been looking some of his works for a couple of uh, weeks actually, but some of the works I think actually worth studying and kind of if you try to recreate this in Blender and maybe using Spreadshock add-on, you will actually learn something. And I'm actually especially interested with uh, this kind of artworks that using the the Fibonacci kind of sequence uh, to generate this kind of uh, spiraling art. Um, these guys are like a really like a tr made a lot of interesting works using math and geometry. Um, especially there is one that I'm also interested in, like this guy right here. I might try to do that in the next live noting, but for now I will try to do the Fibonacci sequence thing. So you can think of it as kind of like complicated, but but then again, if you think about it, this is not actually that complicated. I mean, you can do this quite easily in the in Blender these days. You you can use array modifier perhaps, but I will do it using um, Spreadshock add-on. Uh, this is kind of like a quick setup that I did. Um, yesterday um, let's try to build it from scratch I probably will not do like too much uh, refinement just uh, the basic uh, the basic ideas okay let's get started right away um, we know that Spreadshop already have template for Fibonacci so we have some already have like a solution for that um, it comes as a script node, script node comes with a lot of templates. There's one of them that says Fibonacci, which is uh, the Fibonacci sphere. I think it's a spiral Fibonacci. This guy, if you just load it, uh, just click on this icon, it will load it into the text editor in Blender. And this is the script node. You can have a look and study the formula and everything this is like the the algorithm the algorithmic soup that you can study but you can simply use it as a node okay so we have uh, maybe just use 100 points of spiral Fibonacci I'm gonna save it real quick Fibonacci made simple complex things made simple once it's become like a node because someone already works on the hard part you just need to use it um, so if we use a viewer draw plug in the vertices you should get this uh, Fibonacci thing it looks like sunflower but it's a bit flat and it's actually it would be nice to have some kind of uh, like a 3d shapes to it a quick way a quick way to do it is to use um, let me think. Re reroute or rewire. You might actually didn't think that this node can do it, but apparently this can. Uh, apart from re rerouting or rewiring axes into different axes, you can actually use scalar. If you use scalar plug into the Z, which is this axis going up, uh, you will see some magic happening. So. Uh, so we have uh, how many points actually not too much 150 I'll make it 150 and use range float plug into this guy and make it 150 as well and then you, you just change the the range of number here so now you, you actually get this kind of pattern if you with some kind of um, node setup you will get a something that looks like a ball. You can actually reverse this guy, actually maybe use the list reverse. Yeah, that that's actually did the job. Um, if you use UV connection and yeah, that's kind of doing this Fibonacci thing. But we actually just gonna use the vertices and kind of uh, instancing some objects on top of it. 
so so we already have all these points we simply just use it as the matrix for things like a circle for example circle by default has um, 24 vertices um, that's actually a little bit too much for what we are doing just reduce it to 8 for now and we don't need to see the points so we start to see the, the structure being created here you actually can play around with this uh, range float stuff if you use um, maybe easing this one count between 0 and 1, 150, plug into this guy and use the circular uh, something like this, plug into this guy you will get a different shape so feel free to do that I'm gonna do something simple for now so if you look at it from the top and we look at the X and Y I think maybe we can kind of rotate this guy um, I didn't prepare this part but uh, I'll, I'll give it a try anyway so circle we can scale it we can kind of translate it Transform okay let's move it let's move it to the side I actually want to change the pivot of this guy of the circle slightly uh, where's the center pivot? that's the center pivot I want to move the circle slightly to the right and then I need to rotate it mm. I have a feeling I need to use a matrix apply for this guy and then matrix in sometimes not uh, not so clear how you can kind of move the center pivot of of an object I think that's kind of did the job I'll see what I did is just moving the circle slightly to the right I might actually need to scale it as well so it's become a little bit clear uh, scale unfortunately doesn't do it in XYZ it's only doing it vertices and center but probably that's okay oh yes yeah, it's doing it in all directions that's uh, unfortunate so I have to use a vector math scale in XY or something doesn't give me any result scale in YZ X, Y, not X, Z and maybe X, Z is actually good so we have this something that looks like a leaf I'll increase this resolution to 12 okay so now we can use this uh, matrix in plug this into the location the Fibonacci points doing the spiral and we get this I might actually do this the wrong way but we basically need to rotate it each and every instance um, I think the magic number is 137.5 so range float step 137.5 so for every instance we want to rotate it uh, with that angle so if we do it properly we should get something that looks like a leaf and then it's pointing out there it's I think it's kind of working kind of maybe not perfect but you see it starts to take shapes um, if you want to make it this nicer you might wanna maybe rotate it in the in the in other axes as well and then maybe play around with the scaling you just need to make sure each and every instance we get is the same number so we have 150 for the points and then for the scaling let's try one more thing with the scale you, you can of course make a better leaves um, I'll probably do that 
next um, range float here counts this should be 150 as well so see all these 150 counts and this should be the scaling value I think the bottom one should be scaled larger and the bottom the top one should be smaller until yeah I think that's pretty good maybe not perfect I think I don't know with the flower the last bit is actually the uh, circle maybe it's less uh, less scaled for the top one it's less scaled it's become like more like a circle which is interesting think about it see like I I don't know if this will work this might actually that's kind of working it's pretty weird oh actually it's not working as expected actually to make it correct you see we have like one one and 150 matrix we kind of made something we, ne we made a change with a with this shape of the circle but that's not what we want we want to keep it circle so list split is our uh, kind of what we want so list split make this into 150 stream of data and then I just need to use this repeat for the edges 150 times yeah, that that bit is a bit uh, it's, uh, it's something to do with the uh, spread chalk nastiness or how things being nested okay now slightly more interesting you see the shape of the circle on the top is almost like a circular but uh, yeah the bottom bits more like elongated yeah I think this is getting better but you can definitely continue improving on this I'll give it a bit of ambient occlusion so it's a bit nicer and because everything is kind of procedural you see you can increase this number to 250 and you get like a new pattern you can reduce it to 15 this is actually what happening at the for the structure it's very very interesting this is what the what's his name again John whoops stop script John Edmark yeah he's genius I, I like his works uh, very much you can create something like this if you have like a nicer leaf shape just apply it as instance for this structure and you're done so this is based on John Edmark study you can actually create animation based on this if you like uh, but I think I'll give it to you as a homework Oops. what happened what did I do just now okay I like this it's smaller there you go John Edmark kind of Fibonacci's um, structure is a I, I, I challenge you to create something original yourself um, try using all kind of a uh, blender primitives maybe or even make like more interesting shapes I don't know maybe I don't know if uh, currently it's just a flat circle but if you make it like more like a leaves naturally you know shaping leaves then this is gonna be looking much more interesting so that's pretty much it for this live noting if you have any question feedback suggestion let me know in the comment section below thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video thank you bye